yeah, um, it happened to him. It happened today. He just wanted me to call you to tell you that he. Yeah, no, I wasn't there when it happened. He just told me. He made his confession just before he left. Doesn't mean I'm gonna take the job, you know. Like, I'm not really in the mood for any big decisions. I think I'll just wait till the end of the week to reply or whatever. So, um, it's today. What? I said it's today, it's gonna happen today. What's happening today? <laughs> for fuck's sake, Alex, don't make me say it. I have to go today. Oh shit! Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? No, but I don't. Fuck. This is really happening, isn't it? I'm fine, you know, I guess. I've had a whole life to think about it. No, you're not. I mean, I'm not. Yeah, but it's not really about you, is it? Oli, you should have. I don't want to feel guilty about it. No one should feel guilty about this, but... I actually had a whole speech prepared and everything, but then I got rid of it. I'm going to have to do this, go through this eventually. I'm going to have to do it all over again. Nothing ever goes as expected, does it? Fuck, they tell you about it, but no one's really prepared for this. I should have guessed it wouldn't go as expected. I'm even less prepared. I wonder how it's gonna happen. So it's you before me then? I don't even know if I'm facing it or denying it right now. I thought I knew about it, but turns out I don't know anything, do I? So I thought confessing to you would make it more I'm real. not ready, I have to be ready. Can we just talk about it now? This is so hard. This is so hard. It doesn't have to be hard if you just shut up for a second. Just give me a second. Was I okay? On a human decency scale, I guess. Yeah, you were okay. I don't even know if I want to be okay. Oh, did you hear about Ollie? Yeah, he was okay. Was I good? Was I a bad person? Was I at least something that people would remember? I would remember. You were. Good enough to have people around you. Isn't that the point of someone's life? To share it with others? Yeah. And now I'm sharing the end with you. Do you think it would have been different if you didn't know? I've been asking myself this question forever. Still don't know the answer. Sometimes I just thought there wasn't any point in doing years of studies and trying to have the greatest career because no matter what, it wasn't going to happen. I was bound to be average. You don't know how many days I tried anyway to feel like I could do anything. I just, I wanted to feel the excitement, the hope of something big coming into my life. I guess I just wanted to feel, like, alive. A bit more than everyone else. I could ask that, right? That's not selfish. I mean, if I have a shorter life, I kind of deserve to have a better and fuller one. That might be selfish. Ah, oh, fuck it. I get to be selfish for the last day. Do you have any regrets? I think we all have regrets. I think everyone dreams of a, another life. Happens all the time. I think I have the right amount of regrets. But do you want to say sorry? Is that how closure works? You say sorry and everything's all right and you're at peace with yourself. Sometimes I felt sorry just for being on this planet. Sometimes I felt sorry just for stealing a piece of cake at a party. It's not that simple. I wish it was. I'm sorry, well. There, fixed it. For everyone I've ever disappointed. How's that for closure? Why do we always have to say sorry to feel better about ourselves? 
Isn't it easier having to live our lives without having to... Wait, am I being rude? Me talking about living around you? <laughs> like you say in a racist joke. I mean, man. I'm still alive, you know. Oh shit, sorry. Wait, is that... Because I never truly got it. Is that why you broke up with Tom? Because he was more than okay to me. He was more than okay. I just didn't want to spend the rest of my life with him. You know, my 24 year long life. Would you have stayed with him if you had lived longer? I don't know, Alex. I don't, I didn't get to live this other life you keep talking about. Yes, it would have been different. Everything would have been different. Would it have been better or worse? I don't know. How about Zoe? Zoe was... She was very important to me. She still is. You know, it's okay to change. Who you are in this very moment shouldn't define you because you'd definitely be someone else in an hour, a day, a year, in different places, with different people. Because that's what you need to do to make friends. That's what you need to do to make yourself feel at home. You change. I'll never forget Zoe. We pretend to forget, but we never do, do we? I've thought about her every day since we stopped. You can promise to love someone forever, but sometimes you can't. And that's okay. You'll have loved them all the same some time ago. When we met, well, you know how any love story begins. It's full of hope and laughs, dinners, romantic music playing. Life can't just be dinners. Life has to be sad from time to time. Otherwise, it's not really life. We tried. We had the hope. We kept it for as long as we could. Maybe it just wasn't meant to happen. No, it was. It just wasn't meant to be forever. When my mum, you know, she told me a week before, she wanted me to know. She thought I was important and strong and loved enough and I deserved to know. And I felt special. Now I'm a grown man and I still feel special. And Ollie, after all of this is over, I'm gonna be a fucking wreck. But then I remember, like I remembered for my mum. Everyone was right. It really helps to know, it really is different. You know, they have special programs for the confessed. It could help. Huh? You know what I think about them government confession programs? They pretend grieving with other people is crucial. But really, they're just forcing you to grieve in a certain way. And if there's anything I've learned about confessed, it's that people should be able to grieve anywhere they want. And they should be able to take as long as they want to do it. I'm gonna have to go. Can I just say something really cheesy? You might not care, but I do. You know? It's good. Like, 
not the last minutes, but everything before that. It's not something you would say, it's, you'd never say that. I'm proud to be here. It's gonna be okay. Thank you for listening. And thank you for being here. He just told me. He made his confession just before he left. I don't know if I'm okay. It's over now. I'm glad we could have one last conversation just before he died. I'll, I'll see you later, Zoe.